Hey hello friends welcome to Pyap Studio this is Bubalan today we're going to talk about how to integrate room database with the login and the sign up page those who are not seen my video about login design and the sign up design please go ahead and see that video first before you continue this video so without wasting much time let's get into the video now so before you get into like uh, we already know that we will be having one database in our applications so that means so whenever we trying to access the our database uh, that is we call it as a input output operation so as you already have a like uh, android doesn't allow you to do any input and output operation or network calls on the main threads okay so which means we'll have to make those calls in the background threads in the case of MBVM pattern, we need to have some uh, mechanism to uh, let us know like what is the progress of those background tasks, right? To get to know that status, I'm just creating a resource class that has uh, some status enums that will tell us the current status of background task. Status can be a multiple state. One is none, which means uh, background task is not started yet. Next is success. If background task is success, you can post this the specific status. If for background task goes something wrong, then we can say error. And uh, when when the background task gets started, then we can say loading. Okay. So these are the four state that specific enum as. Having said that, let's see the changes in the registration view model. I'm just going into the registration view model. If you see that, I'm just introducing another variable like a live registration flow. So that's a mutable live data type of uh, status enum and initially I'm saying none because the registration flow is yet to be started we are not doing any uh, work at the moment in the background okay to validate that one we already have this validate form function here we validated all this information all the input fields these uh, validation were discussed in my previous video those who are not seen the video please go ahead and see that video first the link is available in the description at this point in time uh, whatever the users entered all the information is correct now we need to perform another kind of check where we'll have to check the entered email address and the username is already exist in the database or not okay so which means we are trying to uh, using this function like find user by username which means we are passing the username and email address if the database has a username and email address of the entered value probably this will be written the list okay this list will be having the list of uh, users as the same username or email address so we just checking so it's this is a background operation so whenever you're hitting the database which means we are consuming or we are doing the input and output operations okay so it's, it, it is not supposed to be done on the main thread so i'm just scheduling it in the background task which is means io right so i'm just creating the view model scope and then i'm launching it as a core routines and uh, i'm just i'm setting the thread as io thread inside this i'm just calling this function then I'm checking the list. The list is not empty, which means this list has some information. The found user's email address is matching with the one of the email address which I entered in the form. If yes, I'm saying that the email is already exist. Otherwise, uh, I'm safely assume that the username is already exist. So that's the things uh, happening here. So or else our email address is not exist in the database. Then I'm just starting the background task. I'm just saying this loading, which means we are trying to do some background task um, for the registration model. Then this line is quite interesting here. I'm just uh, making a copy of the value centered by the user. But in the case of password, I'm just setting the hash value of the password entered by the user instead of the client password because I don't want to save the password as it is into the database that's created some security issues so that's why I'm just created this SHA256 hash functions you can see the implementations here this will give you the if you give the text then it will give you the equivalent hash value so uh, the understanding is whenever you give the same text it will be always creates you the same hash values okay so that's an understanding uh, so it's making a copy of it and uh, instead of password it just set the hash value then it will create the new uh, user info object for you then you just finally you just have to call this do register function that will ultimately insert this specific uh, data into the database okay so that's all 
then finally i am just saying that uh, this specific flow is success so i'm just passing the success value so um okay this is done so let's see how the status will be uh, shown in the fragment okay if you go into the fragment i'm just uh, observing this specific registration flow live object and then i'm making some few changes uh, based on the different status okay when the status is loading i'm just showing the progress bar on top of the current window if the status is success i'm just dismissing the progress bar then i'm navigating navigating into the home screen because my registration is done so i just have to go to the home screen then i'm just resetting that uh, live registration flow as none uh, if something goes wrong here like uh, some some something has happened then i'm just dismissing the progress bar otherwise the progress bar keeps on showing in the top right and so this is a changes in the fragment okay let's see the changes in the login view model in the login view model i'm just again introducing the uh, login flow as like a registration flow uh, it's a type of status again the initially none value when the user clicks on a login button so these are the um, validation that's supposed to be app and then if everything's valid then again i'm just uh, doing this specific operation in the background threads so i'm just making it as a background thread at the moment when the input is valid then i'm making the back coroutines and making it cyber threads and then i'm just uh, saying that login flow is get started so i'm just saying loading then i'm just uh, calling the find by username and password i'm just passing the username and password instead of password i'm just making it into the hash value because currently uh, the password column will be having the hash value when the user enter the password we'll have to convert that password into the hash value so that we can check this hash value against the columns available in the table so that's understanding so in that way we are securing the user's password in that way we are securing the user's password not to be exposed to anywhere in the database also okay so i'm just taking the password if the password is equal to null which means uh, uh, this specific username or or, or or password combination is not exist in the database then we simply say invalid username or password then we just are saying the login flow is failed so that's why we pass it as error or, or else if uh, username is uh, uid is not equal to null which means this is success i'm just posting this value as success okay so let's see how we handle in the login fragment if we go to the login fragment uh, uh, i'm just uh, again observing this live login flow and then just handling the different uh, status here like when it's loading i'm showing the progress bar when it's success i'm just dismissing the progress bar i'm going into the home home screen i'm just resetting the flow uh, values back to none uh, if ever something goes wrong i'm just dismissing the progress bar as usual okay so these are the changes here uh, quickly let's see how the progress bar has been designed if you go here i'm just uh, created one more a uh, fragment here that fragment base uh, that that fragment name is a tail load fragment uh, this fragment just has like a ti loader okay it's a simple uh, page that has a progress bar in it and the whenever you say uh, add uh, whenever you say show uh, show progress bar i'm just adding this uh, specific fragment on top of uh, the current uh, fragment i'm just adding the specific fragment on top of the current fragment i'm just showing it here and when you say dismissed i'm just dismissing this specific dialog uh, like a tl loader fragment out of the view so that it go away okay that's a simple logic behind it so i think everything is clear now uh, now let me uh, run this app in my device and we'll show you how it works meanwhile i'll show you some data inspector that will show you the real time database or uh, you can access this window by clicking view tool window and data in database inspect let's launch the app in mobile i'm just going into the registration page i'm just filling this information so i fill this information so the moment i click the register button you could see that specific data is displaying it here okay uh, here you go do you see this what are the information i entered like uh, the dhoni and mahendra and then mobile number username but, uh, but if you look at the password it just uh, stored the hash values it doesn't store the real password so for security concern okay 
so if everything is good then i'm just going back to sign in page so here i'm going going here and enter the ms dhoni and the, the password and enter here i'm clicking the sign in button works perfect so that's all from my end if you like this video please do not forget to like share and subscribe and press the bell icon so that you can get my next video immediately thank you so much for watching the video nandri bye bye